Hello and welcome to the channel of Dr. Kayak. Hi, I'm Mitch and uh, it's almost been a week and I thought I'd give you an update about what the heck is going on in my life. But before I get into the meat of the discussion here, discussion? We're not discussing, it's just me talking. Hey, please do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. If this is your first time here, you're going to find that a lot of this is uh, interesting stuff. You might learn something, and uh, you may already know everything like I think I do. So anyway, hit the like, subscribe button, uh, hit any button you like. Hit your belly button, and, and, and leave a comment if you don't mind. So here we go. Are you ready for this? Over 20 years, I've been living in northern Michigan. After living just south of Detroit for about 37 years prior, moving to up north was a dream of mine as a child. I came with my wife and two kids and a father-in-law. The father-in-law would prove to be one reason my second marriage failed. But that's a story that's been done to death. This is not about failed marriages or domestic grievances. I found a job in News Talk Radio for a few years, and then I landed a job at the American Red Cross at Blood Collections. Imagine that. After a year of the Red Cross, their doors were shuttered, and I found myself working in retail for a spell. After the divorce, I continued a few more years in retail before I landed a sweet gig being a property manager. You can say I found my niche. <laughs> I got to work alone, flipping two properties between vacation renters. It paid well, and I got to do a few DJ gigs in between. Oh, by the way, my first profession is a mobile disc jockey for hire. So my property management duties led to yet another uh, owner of a vacation property, and uh, for them, I've been working for the last 10 years completely and solely just them. I gave up the other two gigs. <laughs> so, uh, it was a great job. My uh, people I worked for were incredible. They were wonderful. And now they're going to move into their home. So, yeah, that gig's coming to an end. Well, it pretty much has come to an end. So, looking back... Finding love for me was elusive. I did find it once again, but somehow it slipped through my fingers. Finding domicile proved to be equally elusive. The home I was renting was sold by the owner, and after a lengthy search, I found a place in a quaint little mobile home community in Harbor Springs. I thought perhaps this might be my forever home. In fact, every place I've lived prior to finding my little Shangri-La never did feel like home. I was finally home here, I thought. But life has a strange way of just slipping away. Holding on to love or home or contentment is impossible for me. It's a life of constant uncertainty, no matter how hard I try. In the last couple chapters of my life, I find myself desperately searching for meaning, not contentment. I've given that up. After 20-some years of living the dream here in northern Michigan, I'm leaving. The vacation rental job has come to an end, and now I'm old enough to collect Social Security. My dreams of living in the north have changed. I've grown tired of the long winters. The cold hurts my bones. We're allowed to change, right? Dad passed away a few years ago. Mom is the last surviving member of her bloodline. Her mind and her mobility is not what it used to be. However, she's still holding on to her independence by a fine thread. After she spent over 25 years of her life being a mother and looking after me and my siblings... I guess it's my turn to go look after her for a while. Then it will be on to my next chapter. The Nomad. <laughs>